A very warm welcome to tech mining. The year-end process consists of two options, temporary and permanent. The temporary year-end process performs two actions, first, it generates the next fiscal year. and then it transfers the balances of accounts from the closing year to the new fiscal year. The permanent year-end process on the other hand has two additional tasks, first, it checks the closure status of the 12 fiscal periods, and then it marks the year as permanently closed. If you are running a business, then you will have some accounts with balances. In this step, you'll incorporate these balances in your application to test the year-end process. From the select menu, change your working period to June, in other words the last accounting period. Enter the opening balances of accounts in a JV type voucher. Download source code from video description, open part 24 folder, this PDF file named opening balances voucher, is used to create opening balances of accounts. Note that we have hided all manipulation buttons in the previous video. This step will enable create button, through which you can create a new opening balances voucher. Your new voucher type, number, date, and description, should match the voucher as shown in the video. Execute the following steps to first create the segment of temporary year-end, tie. The tie process will receive two values from the user, voucher type and profit and loss account. This closing process will first create a new fiscal year. If one already exists, for example, you execute this process for a second time, this step will be skipped. After creating the new fiscal year, the year-end process generates a closing voucher of the selected type to close all revenues and expenses into an account called the profit and loss account.
this validation check that the current year is not permanently closed. In such a case, the tie process will not execute. This process creates a new fiscal year when you execute the tie process for the first time. This process will close all revenue and expense accounts into a profit and loss account that you will select as the second parameter. Now test your work. Run the segment. Select a type of voucher. Select a profit and loss account. Click the execute tie button. You should see a success message after the execution of the process. Now click the transactions menu and select the voucher type you chose to store the closing entry. You'll see two vouchers in the vouchers report list. The first voucher is the one you entered to record opening balances. While the second numbered 999 is created by the tie process to close expense and revenue accounts. Click the edit link next to it, and notice that all the data manipulation buttons have disappeared from the details page. The only button you should see is the cancel button that takes you back to the reports page. The first task that this process performed was the creation of a new fiscal year. To verify this, click the select menu and expand the year select list. Now there will be two years. Finally, Execute the following steps to create the permanent year-end process, which prevents any kind of data manipulation operation in a year marked as permanently closed.
the first validation checks whether the current year is not already marked as permanently closed. For this process to be successful, it is necessary to first close all 12 periods. The second validation ensures that all 12 fiscal periods have been marked as closed. The final validation needs you to execute the tie process to record the latest closing entries. After passing the validations, this process marks the currently selected year as permanently closed. Run the permanent year-end segment. Hit the Go button. The process will not execute because the remaining fiscal periods are open and must be marked as closed prior to executing this process. Do so by closing all the periods individually from the month closing option under the closing menu. Now execute this process again. If you ran the tie process on the same date, the pie process should execute successfully in this attempt, otherwise, you will get another message to execute the tie process to register fresh closing entries. After successful execution of this process, transaction manipulation actions are permanently prevented in the current year. Of course, you can view the data through the voucher interface and the reports. After executing the tie process, you get the next fiscal year. 
also the closing balances of assets, liabilities, and capital accounts are transferred to the next fiscal year. Thank you for watching the video.